In this video, we are going to talk about two types of representation of data. First, we will find the fight number summary, and then we will use the fight number summary to construct a regular box plot. So the first one is uh, always the easiest type. You have a list of numbers. So in the screenshot I have on my video, I forgot to type a six. So that's why I put the six back. And then what is the first thing that you will have to do before you look for the fine number summary? That is, you have to sort the data in ascending order because the Q1, Q3 median is all about position of data, right? It's all about position, displacement. So therefore, you have to sort the data first from the smallest value to the largest value. So the data is already sorted. The easiest number that you can find is the minimum, right? Easiest two. So we have minimum, we have a maximum. And then how many data do we have? We have uh, 11 data. So where is the median? The median is the sixth entry, right? So this is my median. So on the left hand side of six, we have five values. On the right hand side of six, we have five values. So we just divide the entire data set into two equal pieces. And then for the first five numbers, where is my Q1? So five number Q1. So this will be my Q1, right? And then this is my Q3. So we just found the five number summary. And then now let's use the five number summary to um, get construct a boss plus. So first we start with the minimum. The minimum is negative five. So we have negative five and then negative one. We just provide a reasonable distance. So negative one and then a six and then a 10 and then a 16 to get the box. So this is how we get the box. So we draw a box in here. The box stands for the middle 50% of the data. So inside the box between negative one and 10, we have the middle 50%. So let's label that. We did have minimum Q1 median, which is Q2, Q3 and maximum. So that is the first type of data. The second type of data is trickier. So let's me go down to find the second type of data. The second type of data is the data is summarized using a frequency table. So let's take a look at this problem. We have a table x x means data and then each x value we have a frequency so zero frequency equals to five what is that means frequency equals to five that means you take out a piece of paper now we are going to put the data back to a list so here is how you are going to do it you write the zero five times and then you write the one ten times and then you write the two thirteen times and then you write the three 20 times, you write the four 12 times, so on and so forth. So after you are done, you have 100 entries because if you add up uh, this list, the five plus 10 plus 13, if you sum up all the frequency, the total frequency is equal to 100. So there are 100 entries, all right? Now, in this case, how do we find the five number summary? We are not working with a list anymore. We are working with a frequency table. It's all right. You just take a little bit more of work. So let's get the minimum and maximum. So in this data set, just look at the green numbers on the right hand side. What is the smallest data value? Zero. What about the largest data value? Seven, right? Because at the end, at the end, you have a seven 16 times, right? So the minimum is equals to zero and then the maximum is equals to seven. We just got two. What about the 50%? What about Q2? Q2 is median, right? Which is the middle 50s, which is the 50 percentile. So how do we get the median? So here is how to do it. So that means we have to start counting from the first zero. We count this number one at a time until we reach to the 50th value, right? Agree? You count this number one at a time until you reach to the 50th value. But I don't want to write out a hundred numbers and then count that. What if the total frequency is equals to a thousand, right? If the total frequency is equals to a thousand, I am not going to waste 15 minutes to, to, to write this out. What if I, I forgot to write one? What if I, I miss a number? 
right? I am not going to waste my 15 minutes to do that. So therefore, I am going to use another technique. So as long as you reach the 50th number, you will see what that data value is. So here is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to look at the frequency. All right, I do 5 plus 10. This is not 50 yet, right? And then you plus 13, I am adding the frequency. And then plus 20, at this time, you reach to the 48th value. So that means after you count the first five zero, the 10 copies of one, 13 copies of two, and 20 copies of three, you already count 48 values. And then the next value is the four, right? There are 12 copies of four. So as long as you take two more steps, two more steps, you reach to the 50%. But when you take two more steps, what value is that? That is equals to four. The value is equals to four. So this is my median, my Q2. That's how we get that. And then Q1, Q1 is the 25th percentile, right? So we are going to do the adding. So first we do a five plus 10. That is only a 15, right? So 15, if you add 23, well, that is equals to 28. 28 is already more than 25. So it's already more than 25. Now, all we have to do is we take three steps back. Where is 13 corresponds to? 13 corresponds to x equals to 2. So the data is equals to 2. If you take three steps back, you are still in the 13, right? So that is still x equals to 2. So x equals to 2 is Q1. Right? Because after you add the 13, you reach to 28, right? You just count all 13 copies of 2. And then you take two steps back, you are still at x equals to 2. All right, so we got the Q, Q1 and then a Q3 is the 75%. So this time we have to add more values. 5 plus 10 plus 13 plus 20. That is not even close. And then plus 12 and then plus 6. So after that, you will reach to 84. So 84 is already more than 75, right? So you have to take how many how, how, how many steps back? You have to take uh, 4 plus 5. So you have to take 9 steps back. So you take 9 steps back. Uh, oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot one thing. So 5 plus 10 plus 13 plus 12 plus 6 is not e even close to, to, to 84. I missed one. Let me just use another color for that. We have to also add the 18. So if you do that, you will reach to 84. You will reach to 84. I forgot to add the 18. So you will reach to 84. That is more than 75. So that means in order to go back to 75, you have to take 4 plus 5 steps back, right? So that means you have to minus 9 then you will reach to 75. So here is what you are thinking in your mind. 7, 8, 18. After you add the 18, you are at x equals to 6, right? Look at frequency 18 on the table. So x is equals to 6, right? And then if you take 9 steps back, 19 minus 9 is still, is still there, right? You are still at x equals to 6. So x equals to 6 is my Q3. So let's take... Take a look at the five number summary, mean and max, Q2, Q1, and Q3. So now I can do the job. So the first number is zero. So I start at zero and then seven. Oh, no, no, and then seven and then Q1 and then two. And then Q2 is four. And then a six and then seven right here. So this is my middle fifty percent. Q one, Q two, Q three, seven is my max, and then zero is my minimum. So this box is my middle fifty percent. So that's how you get the boss plot. And then we are not done. I still want you to find five percentile. The first one, the, we are going to do the first three together using an, an, another color. So let's do the first three. Uh, let's use red. So the first three, they are 26, and then 28th, and then the 30th. Okay, so let's get that. 
how do you get to the uh the, the 28 i'm going to do the 28 first so if you take 5 plus 10 plus 13 that is equals to 28 exactly right so the 28 percentile and then uh the 28th is x equals to 2. what about the 26 if you you are standing at 13 so standing at 13 means you took the last two there are 13 copies of two the 13th is the last copies of two all right so to go from 28 to 26 all you have to do is you take two steps back right so you are at 13 you take two steps back that is equals to 11 so you are still in in the frequency equals to 13 you are still in in that column that equals to 26 as long as you are still in that column that is x equals to 2 all right how about the 30th the 28 so the 28 look at the table right right now the 28 is right here 30th you need to take two steps forward right 28 plus 2 is equal to 30 so if you take two steps forward that means you will have you will reach to the second copies of 3 so that means you are now right there so at the 30th percentile x is equal to 3 so this is the 26 this is the 28 and then the last one is the 30th percentile x equals to 3 so we just get the answer right here all right and then do we have more we have 80th and the 95 so the 80th and the 95 so i'm going to go go down a little bit so the 18 uh the the 80th and the 95 switch color again so here is how we get to the 80 is so big we um we don't have to add the numbers one by one do you see that the last number is 16 in the last 16 numbers in the data they are all seven so we have 16 copies of seven so here is how i'm going to do it 80th percent right i'm going to sh show both okay 80th percent 80th so i am going to take 100 which is the all the frequency subtract 16 that is equals to 84 right so 84 84 we just passed the 80 so we just took out the last 16 copies of 7 so 84 we still have to take four steps back to get to the 80 right so that means we have to go in to the 18 so what is 18 corresponds to i have to take four copies of 6 in the 18 so that is still x equals to 6 so x equals to 6 is the 80th what about 95 95 we can use the same thing 95 so 100 minus 16 is equals to 84 that already passed 95 so the 95 is what we have to add 6 plus 5 so we have to add 11 steps to the 95 right to the 95 so that means that is x equals to 7 take a look at this take a look at, at, at the data the last 16 value they are all 7 so the last 16 here the last 16 they are all 7 you just take 5 steps from right to left 5 steps that value must be a 16 all right this one is a lot harder compared to the first one so that will be all in this video if you think my explanation is helpful to your learning please like subscribe share this out for me Thank you really, really much. I see you all in the next one.